uh, and shot to death. That's not important. Not at all. I don't think so. I don't give a fuck what Pepsi does. Of their ads. Like the accident. They do have one of the my favorite ads of all time, though. There was like one ad of like a Mexican kid in Mexico, and there's like went up to a machine and uh, put a dollar in and bought a Coke, and like and put another dollar and bought another Coke, put them down, and then stood on the Cokes. Yeah, I saw that one. <laughs> that was the best. Dude. It was Pepsi. That is the the best Pepsi. I think that's the best commercial I've ever seen. Right. That's probably one of the best disses I've ever seen, if not the best, because that was just so clever. That was good. I liked it. It was. <laughs> it's such a good burn. <laughs> he fucking wasted that coke. Right. He just left the cokes. That's the and the money? He wanted to pay. He paid two bucks. Yeah. Right. I know for. And then the dollar extra for Pepsi was worth it. And it was worth it to leave the coke. So he didn't even want that shit. Like, I was just using you as a stepping stone. Think of the poor, hungry children in Africa. <laughs> and in Mexico. How did that kid get $3? <laughs> well, according to Eric Cartman, uh, Mexico is hell. Yeah. <laughs> Mexico is not the best place to be. I mean, that's a place I wouldn't go. I mean, it sounds so fucking scary with all the cartels and shit. Yeah, they run everything, pretty much. Yeah, but like these seriously sound scary. I mean, they cut out your organs and sell them. I mean, they're fucking crazy. Yeah. They cut off your uh, limbs uh, and shit. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've seen I, I I've seen fictional uh, cop shows. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. I've seen Twenty Four. <laughs> I've seen Twenty Four. I I know how the average American lives. <laughs> I am Jack Bauer. They made a new 24. I don't think it has Jack Bauer in it though. It should be called 48. So they have like more time to fill. Or just or just 12. <laughs> so you can make like less episodes. Right? Can we not do 24? <laughs> mm. Then the 90s, that started in the early 2000s. Yeah, that started in 2000. Yeah, I, I, I remember when it came. Yeah. Started school the year of 2000. So. I don't remember what I said. I just remember. The remember. I, I remember. I <laughs> remember. The year I graduate a grade is that year. Like I graduated twelfth grade in two thousand twelve. So that's pretty easy. Yeah. So first grade would be like two thousand one that I finished it. I survived two thousand and twelve. Did you? Yeah. I did. It's pretty cool. I survived Y two K and two thousand twelve. I'm a vet with this shit, bruh. Right? We're all vets. <laughs> I I survived. <laughs> I survived the Black Lives Matter. <laughs> I survived Black Friday. Shit. I survived the the, the annual the annual hanging uh, a nigger hanging at the KKK meeting. You been down in Mississippi? Yeah, Mississippi. No. Oh, man, been, only been, I've been in California, Nevada, and that's the only place on the somewhat East Coast. <laughs> West Coast, I mean, it's, of course. <laughs> and on the East Coast, I've been to New Jersey and New York. New Jersey isn't bad if you go to the right spots. And I survived 9 11. <laughs> kind of. I visited the memorial, so I survived the 9 11 as well. I didn't, but I saw the smoke. I, was, I saw it on TV. I was, I was close enough in Jersey. My dad had a bucket truck, and he took me up in the Shit. bucket truck, like, I, I don't know how many feet, like 50 feet or whatever. And like we saw the smoke. No, uh, in reality, that was just like a uh, Rastafarian just talking on his bong. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. you're so young. Inaccurate childhood memory. That is what I remember. <laughs> I also do remember seeing it on TV, though. Pretty sure it was reruns because I just got pulled out of school that day. It was like second grade. 
I uh, on the one year anniversary of uh, 9/11, uh, on the <laughs> anniversary, uh, I traveled with my family uh, to the United States for the first time. Oh, shit. On 9/11, one year after. Oh fuck. Kind of like lightning. You can't. You're not gonna do it twice, right? It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, luckily, my father has, has like a, an American passport, so we we got to skip the the, to the tourist line. So we could go in with all the other real uh, real Americans. So we mm -hmm. skipped like three hours of <laughs> of waiting. Yeah, you got lucky. Then. Damn. I would. Uh, I, I hate airports when I have to wait a long time. I don't plan. I I don't plan enough to get there at a great time. You know, someone who's like barely about to make my flight. If if lines are bad, do you like air get high, and then you fly high? Yeah. Oh, there was one time, dude, where I was about to go through uh, the, you know, like customs. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm going to smoke a cig real quick. So I went over outside and I, I started smoking a cigarette and opened up my laptop. And there was like a big ass weed nug in my laptop, like sitting on my, my, my thing. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> You're incriminating yourself, sir. Nah, fuck it, man. I got away with that shit. It was on federal, federal, and uh, international, actually. No, I threw it out. I didn't. I didn't smuggle it. I threw it out. You I just had it in an airport for a little while. It's, it was a long time ago. I don't know the statute of limitations, but I think I'm alright. <laughs> <kind of thing. laughs> no. <laughs> As I'm saying this, I get fucking swatted. <laughs> I brought my fucking. Uh, you know, you know what the Wi-Fi pineapple is, right? Yeah. I brought that one on the plane in my handbag. They did not say a word. They should. I guess they can't technically assume. No, it's it, it is technically a router, but it is at a it has lots of tools in it in software, and they they can't inspect software. Yeah, it's, it's all it is. It's uh, anyway. It's like it's just a, a penetration testing tool it's for learning and exactly penetration. Yeah, unless you do a crime, you're, you're not a criminal just for having penetration, it's like, impregnation. It's like if I had a clean bong in my car, they can't say that I smoked with it or anything. I mean, it's clean. You know? I'm not, it doesn't have obvious I'm doing a crime. I didn't do anything. It's just a tobacco pipe. <laughs> it's just it's just a, it's just a flower flower base. It really is. It's a tobacco water pipe. I believe that's oh. at least it's just tobacco. You just say tobacco. As long as it's clean, you can just say tobacco. Yeah, I know. They are legal. They they are legal to buy here, but if they are used, you, you get caught. They they confiscate it. Yeah, that's just how it works. Like same thing with the pineapple, though, right? No, but the pineapple is illegal unless they catch you actually doing something illegal with it. It's exactly. totally legal to have. Same with uh, pick lock uh, lock picks. Yeah, I don't think you're legally actually allowed to have a lot or uh, the gun though, unless uh, you're. Allowed. Oh yes, uh, it is legal uh, unless you actually use it. I'm not sure. I think but in, in at least Norway, I'm not allowed to uh, to walk outside with it. I'm not allowed to walk outside outside with it if I don't have a reason to, specific yeah. reason to. Same goes for knives. I'm not allowed to wear like, have them on me as well. I'm gonna have knives. Yeah, I know. Knives and guns. Actually, I just stopped in a Mississippi. Uh, I don't think you need a license to conceal carry anymore. Well, we go to IKEA, and buy buy bombs, and then we blow some some window up, and we we take take the glass, the blown up glass, and we use that. Really? Yeah, that that's how we get nice. <laughs> it's genius. Yeah. Sound like very sturdy knives. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they shatter a few times, so, so there is a lot of bombings. But I mean, hey, Ikea, Ikea got enough bombs for everyone. It's it, it's Sweden. I mean, they got tons of ISIS members there. Oh yeah. Hello, <laughs> That's the only, that that's the only requirement though. Uh, it's like a voice activated bomb, so you have to like scream Allah Akbar, and then it explodes. <laughs> but it's connected to Siri, so it, it sometimes it's, so, sometimes it's like, sorry, I did not catch that right. Or it will be like, did you mean Barack Hussein Obama? No. Not, not at all. 
I took that joke way too far, but that's fine. Oh yeah, um, and Luna, if you're over the, or at least in Mississippi, if you're over the age of 18 and you haven't committed a felony, you can just go to like a Walmart and buy knives. You can go anywhere. I mean, you can go to Ikea and just buy huge knives. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you can't walk around. I believe the rule of thumb is if it's like the length of the blade is like the width of your hand, then I don't think it's legal anymore, but that varies from state to state anyway, so... And I think California is really strict maybe on, I don't know about knives, I know they're strict on guns. I mean, Mississippi, you can just have a gun either concealed or on your hip. Just oh, yeah. imagine how King Kong. <laughs> no, around here, you could literally just have like a fucking knife in your pocket and a gun hiding in your pants. Yeah, I, I know. And just walk Fucking anywhere. Kind of <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. I think I think that is unfair. So since it's unfair, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make like a privilege tax and give that to you. Uh, it's called uh, the. Uh, <laughs> I accept my privilege. <laughs> sorry, I'm white. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm white. sorry, I'm male. <laughs> and the only reason why he, he doesn't say sorry, I'm a straight because is because he's not. Yeah. I didn't know that for a long time. The American atheist. I mean, <laughs> there's even a fucking story. A story that is true though. Uh, it got leaked uh, photo, uh, a leaked video of him penetrating himself with a uh, like, like what, what's it called? Fucking. Is what? Like like a candy banana. A candy banana. Like a foam, a foam candy, basically. He was what? He was penetrating his own ass, and that footage got leaked. Many years ago. It's like getting inside jokes for all his fans. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> I thought you always gonna say I had I have to find it. I'm like, oh, oh. That is bad. Here's some here's a minority group that needs support. The gift the gifted? No, they're privileged because they are intelligent. We, we we might have to like uh, uh, make sure that they inbreed like uh, and like smart or dumb, like special. Because around here, gifted children can also mean. <laughs> well, we are really we are all special really in bad. God in Jesus' eyes. In God's eyes, we are all special. Yeah. He loves you. You should know that. Everybody gets a medal. And gifted, I get gifted every birth my every birthday and on my. On, on well, Christmas. <laughs> that's why we that's why we celebrate Christmas. Jesus Jesus gave gifts to to the poor. That's why. That's why. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And that's why we got Santa Claus. Yeah. Well, actually, that was. Hmm. I read that in Revelation. Yeah. Yeah. You should read the um, the Genesis though. Genesis is interesting, Eric. Told me about Genesis. I know exactly yeah. how that went. <laughs> yeah, you're there. I was trying to find something crazy, but there's too much to even fucking start computing that information. Wait, I, I was kind of serious though when, when I was wondering what Luna meant by gifted. Well, she means in, uh, intelligent, but do you mean uh, you mean like school intelligence that they're good at school, uh, like the public school system? Or do you mean IQ wise or whatever you mean? No, no. You have argued earlier that IQ doesn't define intelligence. Over excitabilities and such. Uh, I don't get it. Are you are you trying to refer to me here? Low key. <laughs> Yeah, you mean like uh, kind of ADD people? ADHD? Blame it on my ADD. <laughs> All I know about 
America is that I've seen good schooling and I've seen bad schooling and bad schoolings. Ugh. 